Dude, relationships just suck sometimes. They're great, and there's so much love, and there's all these great things from it, but also it sucks sometimes, and that's probably why I'm in the business of writing breakup songs. <laughs> and I haven't released a breakup song in a really long time. I think it's been like two or three singles since I've released one. And for being known as the breakup queen, that's a long time. But daddy issues just came about because I was in some tiff with my boyfriend and I had had about enough and when I really started thinking about it, no matter how toxic this sounds, I was like, you came from like a perfect home, you lived in the same place your entire life and like you don't even have the issues that I have. Like for me, I was saying in the song, you don't have the issues that I have, so you should just let it go, <laughs> basically. Which is obviously not correct. Like, relationships are give and take. But in the moment, I was like, I have all these issues in my past from the way I grew up and the things I had to overcome working against me. And you grew up in like a perfect environment. You should take it on the chin this time. Don't raise your voice, we're at a party. You started this, I'll finish it, oh. Don't really care, go cry to mommy. Well, you flipped a switch and turned it off and I don't really give up. Early in me and my boyfriend's relationship, it seemed like we would get in little fights or, yeah, fights <laughs> during like events, like, like a party, like a family party, or you know, the holidays or something. Because let's be honest, like those can be stressful. You're in like a packed environment with family, and somebody could say something that rubs you wrong, and then you take it out on your significant other. But it seemed like we were getting into arguments in social settings. <laughs> and I just, when I was writing this first, I was like, when do we usually get in a fight? And it's during those times, and I'm like, okay, well, don't raise your voice to me. Like we're at a party, and like a part of me is a bit competitive, so I'm like, if you start it, I'ma finish it, <laughs> kind of thing, which again, learn from my bad habits, people. Do not take my route on what I do um, in that instance. I've grown a lot since then, but my attitude was kind of like, mm, I'ma end this, kind of thing. And my boyfriend is the sweetest human being ever. He's so kind, so nice, but as you know, with the nicest people. It's almost like they have a switch sometimes, like they'll take it on the chin over and over and over again, and then all of a sudden they've decided they've had enough, and then it's like a big blowout. And it's usually a big blowout over something that was small that you were like, I don't know why this is as big as this is right now. And so I wrote the line, flipped the switch and turned it off, and then I was like, well, I don't really care, kind of thing, because I was past the point myself. Shut up. I know that I'm too much. You know that I'll burn this to the ground to make a point. Oh, my love, quit saying I'm messed up. I'm not cause you're just as bad as me. So in the pre, I was just kind of saying like, I know I'm all these things. Like I know that I am these things, but you know that I am these things as well. Like you know all the good and bad parts of me and yet you're still with me, but you're trying to point the finger like, you're doing these things, you're doing these things. And I'm like, hold on a second. You're just as bad as me. Like, don't try to play it because you have less trauma than me or whatever, that like you're not doing something as toxic as I am. I'm dealing with some daddy issues. I'm dealing with some daddy issues. If you didn't know, you know I'm headed for the door. Cause I can't trust you'll be there for my daddy issues. I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with. So the chorus is actually funny because I've had so many people message me about this song saying, wow, that was really ballsy to like write a song called Daddy Issues and Don't You Got a Dad and all this stuff. And the song is about the struggles I dealt with growing up and how that plays into my psyche as an adult. But really the song's about my boyfriend and I having an argument and be me being like, you don't have as many issues as I have. <laughs> Like, you don't even have daddy issues. You don't have mommy issues, daddy issues, nothing. 
Like, you should have a little more grace for me, I think. Whether or not that's right or not. But it also just talks about too, like I always feel like if something goes wrong, like I feel like somebody's gonna leave, you know? And that is a really serious thing that I deal with all the time. Like I feel like if there's one argument or one thing or whatever that possibly, you know, my boyfriend would leave me or something like that. And my boyfriend is the most loyal person ever. and. Logically, I know that that's not the case, but growing up in the environment that I grew up in and seeing like people don't always love each other for forever and that's sad and it's a choice. It's a choice to love somebody for the rest of your life and that's what I want for my own life, but nonetheless things happen in life and they get out of hand and out of control and Sometimes that's not the way it works out. So for me, it's like I constantly deal with in the back of my mind of, oh, is that a red flag? Is that a red flag? Is this person gonna bounce? And all these different things. And so the people that I'm close to, I really cling strongly to. And then the people that I'm like, mm, on the fence about, I basically just decide, you know what? It's not worth the emotional roller coaster. Blood pumping straight into my head. I look around, I'm seeing red. You can't forget and I can't forgive. Oh well, we know that it's not all my fault. But you know you flipped a switch and turned it off and I don't really give up. So when writing this second verse, and ironically, I wrote this song with Dylan Emmett as well. So if you haven't heard my last single, which was Upside, I wrote that with him. And then I wrote this song with him. And this was me getting into the fact that I've always wanted to do alternative music and just didn't have the right people at the right time wanting to do that music as well. And so Dylan was the first person that came into my life that I was like, oh my gosh, you love alternative music too. Can we write alternative music? And he was like, absolutely. And so I finally started getting the people around me that wanted to do the same music that I was wanting to do. And I had this concept for a really long time and Dylan laid something down on guitar and I was like, that's sick. And then we kind of, we did this all on Zoom. This was all during COVID. And so we did this on Zoom and we kind of muted our lines and then like sang a bunch of melodies. And then I just popped out with like a good portion of these melodies of just like, even the chorus, like the whole chorus just came in an instant. And then when we got to the second verse, I was like, yo, we need something like kind of rappy. And Dylan had laid down this like rap, almost like Machine Gun Kelly vibe thing going on. And I was like, that's sick. And so then it, kind of added that angst where I could say like a little bit more, for lack of a better term, some effed up stuff. <laughs> but it was real to me. Like, I feel like my blood's boiling and I'm about to like explode. I think I said, you can't forgive and I can't forget or something like that. In reality, it's probably me. I can't forgive and I can't forget. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, in a relationship, you have your strengths and weaknesses, right? And my boyfriend and I definitely know ours, so. I'm dealing with some daddy issues, big trust issues. I can't help it, it's just what I got. I'm dealing with some daddy issues, got more with you. We can't fix all the problems we got. So lately I've been moving into like having a bridge. I think having a bridge is cool if it's needed. I hate unnecessary bridges. Like if you've said everything that you've needed to say, that's it, you don't need to write a bridge. But I've really loved when the opportunity calls for a bridge because I can just take it another level deeper. And so in this bridge, it was my opportunity to just add a little bit more humor. Obviously this whole song is very sarcastic and I, like a person with trauma does, tries to mask things with humor. So it is what it is. But it allowed me in this bridge to just add a little bit more depth and a little bit more humor. So it's like I'm dealing with some daddy issues, big trust issues. like. Ain't it the truth, you know? And, and then I kind of say like, I can't help it. Like, it's just what I got. Like, I didn't put myself in this situation. Like, this is what life dealt me and I'm just dealing with what I got. You know, that's it. But that's Daddy Issues. It's out everywhere. It came out on September 9th. If you haven't listened to it yet, please go check it out. But in the description below, there's a link to it. If you want to listen to it, I've kind of been playing it in the background. But 
hopefully you liked the breakdown of like why I wrote it, the perspective I was coming from, and as per usual, please like and subscribe. Peace.